Let's talk about predator proofing. So chickens taste delicious. I used to eat it all the time. I don't eat chicken anymore, but a lot of animals want to eat your chickens. That would include um, coyotes, mountain lions, skunks, weasels, hawks. They can come in from above, they can come in from below. Uh, main thing you want to do is when your chickens are in their run or their coop, you want to make sure it's really secure and predator proof. And then even when they're out free ranging, you want to do certain things to try to uh, avoid the chances of a predator getting to your chickens. So we get, bought this coop kit that we really like, and it came with some good anti-predator stuff. And then we also built uh, an extra run that we changed to make it more predator proof. So we'll just show you a couple of the things, kind of simple. So if we close this, we have just this normal hook. Um, if you have a hook like this, it'd probably work, but you want to get it under a lot of pressure so that an animal like a raccoon is less likely to be able to open this. So I got to use a lot of human pressure to get this thing to shut. I would say though, that that is not enough in itself to stop a raccoon. So they have little paws that have a thumb like we do. So they're very dexterous and they're actually pretty strong. So to go beyond that and get one of these hasps, we'll put a little link in the description below would be good. So these just screw on and then you take one of these spring-loaded locks and that is really good. Very difficult for a raccoon to figure that one out. I'm sure there's cases where they have. If you want to go really secure, you can get a hasp like that and then put a combination lock or a key lock. There's no way a raccoon's going to get through that. The other thing is you have to think about well, what kind of wire. This is often called chicken wire. It's not the best. Um, the, F, the one that's actually far superior is this stuff. And this is uh, very small squares stapled in and basically no critter's gonna get through that. Maybe, maybe a mountain lion could push those staples out, but other critters can't. Whereas this stuff, it is possible for some small critters to be able to get through here. And if you're gonna put this stuff on, you wanna use a lot of staples Hey, it's super secure because a raccoon has an ability, even though they're kind of big, big critters, they can get through something about that small. It's interesting how, how they can squish through a small spot. And they have a weird tendency to want to just murder the chickens. They'll consume maybe part of the chicken or a little bit of the chicken, but they'll just tear your chickens apart and they'll tear all of them apart. So that's the main one, even though they're cute, they're very dangerous for chickens that could really cause you some grief. And that's the one you want to really make secure. So with this kit that we got, it's a good kit. It's been a great coop, but it's probably not secure enough. When you get the, when you get the kit, it comes with one of these kind of locks, but a raccoon can defeat that easily. It comes with a secondary lock here that I put under extra friction, but a raccoon can defeat that. So I also added a hasp just like we did over there. And also added a hasp for this one. So these have multiple locks, but the one that's really saving your chickens is the hasp with the carabiner that really locks it in. So the other thing to consider too is, well, even though I have it so secure, maybe an animal will just dig underneath through the soil and get into my coop and a lot of these animals who want to eat your chicken are really good diggers, especially the skunks and raccoons. So a couple of things you can do. One is you can get pavers. These are kind of cheap from Home Depot. These are, I think, uh, maybe a foot by a foot and just put them down in front of your coop along the perimeter. And then the critters just can't dig down. They'd have to dig over here and they're just not going to go through that much effort. So you just don't want to make it too easy for them. So that works well. Another idea is to use the chicken wire, this stuff, because it's pretty cheap. And you can run it down into the soil. You run it down, make an L shape and out by about six inches and bury that in soil. So if they try to dig, they're going to end up hitting the metal and that'll stop them. 
So those are things you can do to stop diggers. These are things you can do to stop intrusion. The other thing you have to consider is if you have a, a run that is open at the top, even though it can stop a lot of critters coming in, other animals can pop in from the top. Also hawks can come in from the top and you definitely want to have some kind of covering on the top to protect them. If you have free range chickens like we do, you have to be concerned about aerial attacks from hawks. And what I've noticed is when I've been out here with the chickens, any kind of bird that flies over, like it could be a vulture, it could be a crow, it could be a blue jay, they just instantly see it. They're really aware of, of aerial attack and they'll either freeze, become motionless, or they'll hide underneath something like hide underneath our shed. So they seem to be very inherently adapt at being aware and being able to get away from an aerial attack. But if you wanna go the extra mile and really prevent it, you would need to get some kind of netting that would go over the area that they're gonna hang out when they're free ranging. Some people put up like um, kind of lightweight fences that cover the area where the free ranging will occur. And then they put um, some light netting on top or even putting ropes across can dissuade a hawk. But you got to consider all this stuff because you'll grow really attached to your chickens and you don't want to come home one day and find that a predator has just torn them apart. Watching our video and please subscribe to our channel when you get a chance. And also click the little bell notification button so we can send you a weekly video. So thanks again for watching and please also press the like button for our video if this was helpful to you. Way to contact me at the email listed below, which has got the fixit guy at yahoo.com with any of your questions.